It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday night primetime. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed a maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. K.J. Osborne deep for Minnesota. And it's taken in at the nine. Breaks through the contact. will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So his big play capability in full display there as he's able to return that punt for a touchdown. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And their second attempt here, the first drive, stalled, and they punted. Time to break some things out, I think, in the playbook. Now that they're getting out there, getting settled a little bit, let's see if they open things up. Maybe try and get the ball in the hands of the guys who get the ball into the end zone. <laughs> they're playmakers. I would like that. Fields. Get the connection there, it's incomplete. Time is crucial in any route. Throw. When you throw it out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down in bounds? Uh, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Daniel Hunter with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And here's Trenton Gill on to punt. Now Osborne to return it. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. So here are the Vikings set to go to work, and they're led by the leading passer in the NFC a season ago. Now in his 12th year, sixth as a Viking, Kirk Cousins. Minnesota's new coaching staff really leaned on Cousins for leadership and for... Touchdown, Vikings! Delvin Cook. Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 
The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. From the 35, here's second down and three. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Here's Fields. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And the Vikings are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at the 40. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. Touchdown, Vikings! Adam Thielen, 60 yards! And the Vikings take a three-touchdown lead. Joseph on for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once. And he's going to have to eat this when his down he goes. Dean Lowry. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. On third down, Herbert. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Now here's Trenton Gill now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Oh, the return is Osborne. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it will be Vikings ball, first and 10. And the Vikings going to take over here one more time before the half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a moment. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown! The first half is winding down, and the Vikings are able to add on to their first half lead. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 28 to nothing. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here we go. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with time quickly right. fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So no gain on the play. They'll decline the penalty to not give them the down back. And were you thinking to yourself that maybe they would take the yardage there? Yeah, because possibly. I was. I definitely was. But as you noted, maybe they're just looking at the downs chart and saying, OK, we're comfortable where we are. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. A final shot before the break. Fields. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by a Cameron Evans. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. I cannot imagine a more 
perfect half of football for one side, CD, and a more disastrous half of football for another side. But if you focus on the positive half, with this pick six, you look at where that lead is at, and to think that we are only in the second quarter. My goodness. <laughs> I love the expression. My goodness, indeed. Pretty obvious. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently, we're going to get right back to it. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 24. Flushed out right. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Cousins to throw it. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, one thing we certainly know, he likes to take those risks deep downfield during games, coverage or not. The coverage was there on that one. No catch. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson, 62 yards. And the Vikings have taken a six touchdown lead. Joseph connects on the extra point, and it is 42 to nothing. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. That pick six just a moment ago, things went from bad to worse. Look up at the scoreboard now. Not looking good here. We'll see if they can put something together on this drive. First and ten. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. We're well, just looking at the scoreboard and where we're at in the third quarter. I, I don't know that it's going to matter much at this point, CD, but these small runs on the ground, they're not going to get it done. No, they're not. And right now, the guys stopping the run have been superior in this ball game, giving them no openings, no seams, and now they've got this game well in hand. On first and ten, it's Herbert. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. This defense just continues to bottle up that ground game. And look, I mean, the deficit right now for this offense is so big that it might not matter. But you're still in the third quarter. They're probably going to have to try things through the air, Charles. I agree with you totally. That's what they'll have to do. They do need to run it occasionally to take a few hits off the quarterback because right now, you just know those pass rushers are fired up to get after him. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. He gets this away as he'll wisely, I'd say, angle this to the sideline. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continue to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out of this one. But the way this game is gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. On second down, Cook. And, oh, and now some space doubling. There he goes, right side. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Joseph now to add the PAT. And 
And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Chicago offense set to get started. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. What do they have for this? Third and 11. To throw his fields. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, but he's taken down. Here comes the Bears punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. Fielded at the 33. A nice return that time, gets 12 yards back. And that will come the offense as they take over. And you see Dalvin Cook and the offense heading back out. He's doubled the century mark already, right, receiving the football, up. closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling. Taking it right down Broadway. He's still on his feet. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Joseph connects on the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They are down big. They have not scored a single point. I don't know. Are they so defeated at this point? You just want to get in the locker room, get the heck out of here? That is one way to approach it. Sometimes coach say, that's it, okay? It hasn't worked all game. There's no sense in doing something now. Let's get out of here. No one gets hurt. But others will look at it and say, we still have an opportunity to do pride something. On the line. Exactly. You have pride on the line execution as you look forward and, and, and get, get ready for your next game and a message to your team. We're not going to quit no matter what. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Darnell Mooney. And down to the seven-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. And even 70 yards. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota 